Welcome, 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 you guys. It is your girl, Brown Skin Exoticals, and I am back with another video for you guys. I've missed you all so much. I hope all my biracials, multiracials, yellow bones, red bones, all my racially ambiguous baddies, especially like this beautiful woman here, are having a safe sound and restful sunday this evening i hope this video can resonate with you you can relate to the talking points and we get some more subscribers you guys i gotta be honest i am so close to getting monetized and i'm so excited so today's video is was recommended by someone via email you know who you are i'm sorry for taking as long as i did but I decided since I'm already taking so long with this video in particular, I might as well come out with better content. So I do hope you enjoy. Now, I want to ask all my racially ambiguous people a question. Ladies, are you used to seeing black women look at you like this, being this tense and un? bothered by your presence and you've always wondered especially growing up what did I do wrong why are these women looking at me this way especially if you like myself are an exotical who you come from a different country or you have a different cultural background so you talk a little different you eat different foods things of that nature well you're not alone this person writes great video I was wondering if you could do a part two possibly but be about jealous black women hating on us, quote, foreign exoticals. Specifically, since you mentioned the I wish I was Dominican thing, which sums up all my email responses. Like I said, they hate us and bash us for refusing to identify with them, insult our looks, and say we're racist, but turn right back around and do everything they can to look like us and try to be like us. It's sickening. Lipstick Alley is where all the Dominican bashing tends to happen, calling our island a third world country, saying they refuse to travel there, attacking us for not, quote, acknowledging our black ancestry. Now, when she posted these screenshots, I wasn't surprised, but at the same time, disgusted by the level of racism, anti-mixed rhetoric, things of that nature. So only I'm going to read a couple of these. The first one starts with, we can all agree that she's probably racist and looks down on blacks, but is she wrong? I'm black and I always saw that with the way blacks who got out of the way to claim mixed race people, she's especially right when she says black people use the word black as an insult. I'll give you an example. Dominicans who don't identify as black, rightfully so, as they are mixed, call fonts on the N-word and then to go back to them, the black fonts and tell they are black too. And the person at the very end says, are you stupid or do you hate yourself that much? She's not self-hating because she does not see herself as black. What part do you not understand? She hates you herself. Deal with it. Now, there's a bunch of other comments, but the one that is particularly got my eye was this one here with the one like and three laughing emojis saying, we should call Dominicans black just to annoy them. And I've seen that in real life, not with Dominicans so much in particular, because growing up in Houston, Texas, the Latinos I was more used to seeing were happened to be Mexicans. So I didn't really grow up as much around Dominicans, so I can't speak so much from that Haitian perspective of, oh, Dominicans don't like us or we don't like them because I really haven't been around a lot of Dominicans in my lifetime. But I can say going out of their way online to call Dominicans black, even like that one 50-year-old black man comedian, I know black, I Dominican, I know black, I know black. They love to go out of their way and mock Dominicans, bash the cultures, bash the countries, bash all the problems all the same time while ignoring their own. And this person goes on to write in this email says, as you can see, there's like two or three people that see how sick the obsession with claiming us is, but majority of them are just bashing us and talking about calling us black just to annoy us as if they're still in high school. Very petty behavior. This is why I refuse to identify with these degenerates. Look at their attitude. I'm very proud of being Dominican, not faux, faux proud like the salty Jamaican chick that hates my guts. And it makes me want to cry in frustration that these people always want to ruin this sense of my strong pride by calling me black out of spite or whatever. It sucks. 
What exactly is the logic in claiming someone who is partially black as only black? What purpose does it serve to say to a Dominican is black just like if you, just like you after they rightfully tell you off? If they fight with a white or Asian person, they're not going to say you're white too or you're Asian too since we're so mixed, which is what they refuse to understand. They're jealous and bitter and they wish they were us. Black Caribbean women are super jealous of Spanish women. And I've dealt with enough of the shit my whole life to know that's true. From the dirty up and down looks, the slick comments, envying my hair texture, and making fun of me for liking white men, non-black men, mixed race men, MLS men, etc. She goes on to say there, and at times I was scared to flaunt my Dominican heritage because I was scared of some idiot trying to one drop rule me which is an american phenomenon trying to force that american ideology and culture onto someone who has a completely different background but again they're uneducated and shame me for being proud of my mixture that comes from me being from the dominican republic especially since i'm brown skin dominican with fuller features but i have 3b hair so i'm kind of quote black passing that tends to give them more ammunition to try to humble me since I didn't come out with lighter and keener features. There's this channel I loved called Daisy the Dominican Defender, and it talks about anti-Dominican rhetoric as well. Maybe you can include a video of hers in the second part of the jealousy, jealous black women hating MLS women from foreign and come from different cultures, such as mixed Dominican women like myself. And I did, as she requested, go over to this woman's YouTube channel, Daisy. I'm assuming woman because the name is called Daisy. But I did go over to the channel and I clicked on the popular tab. This is an image so you can, if you feel like going to this channel, showing it some love, watching the video content, subscribing. I don't know this person from Adam, but the first video I did see was Cleopatra was not black and that had the most views on the entire, entire channel. And I watched it from start to finish and the woman who happened to be an Egyptian woman made a lot of good points about how black um, pass, trying to lie and passing everyone as black in history from Cleopatra to even mixed race historical figures and important people is its own form of racism. And a lot of the points she makes is true in that video and in probably a lot of others. In her description, she writes, I created this page to expose the obsession in, some, in certain communities against Dominicans. We are Dominicans, but if we say we're Dominicans, we're anti-black. The Afrocentric community seems to have an agenda against those who are proud to be mixed. They make 99 videos daily on the corny I know black, I Dominican quote. If we speak against it, they gaslight and say it's a joke the passport bros go to the dominican republic recording women's butts and load them on social media and call the dominican women sluts can you imagine what would happen if latinos recorded videos of african-american women and call them hoes Ooh. yes we know they would protest and call us racist actually they would and i'm not saying this woman is wrong but regarding the last part and i just thought of it if dominican men if latino men non-black men recorded black women um's body depending on the man they might praise him for it and sexualize him for it and y'all know what i'm talking about now there's a little bit more to the email exchange so bear with me and she writes hey so my second video request has to do with the black communities need to claim anyone who has a bit of pigment in their skin as black and i've seen this this also counts for people from entirely different races races and cultures like Indians and Filipinos. Also in the Malaysians in the Pacific Islands. I've seen in Lipstick Alley threads of people arguing on whether Filipinos have black ancestry that they choose to deny and of course accuse on self-hatred, anti-blackness, misogynoir, the like. Because of a subgroup of them happens to be darker skin, even skin as dark as an unambiguous black person. It's really crazy. They do this with dark-skinned Indians as well. These people honestly think if you have the slightest bit of melanin, they automatically means you're black or you have black ancestry to some degree. Yet, they get so offended if someone thinks they're mixed 
if they happen to have a looser hair texture or slim nose, but I'm sure they're secretly happy to be asked about it though, because it gives you a leg up according to Blackistan. I don't have to be mixed to be beautiful, they exclaim. But they sure as hell love claiming us mixed women to make themselves feel less shitty about being black and claim our wins as theirs. Black women have also kept telling themselves the lie for years that they're preferred by white men and then they get humbled quickly. They get humbled quickly when they realize that is not true. Black women also get ugly, bottom shelf, washed up white men we don't even look twice at and white women obviously aren't giving those rejects the time of day. Same for black men getting white women. But in their minds, they think they've won a prize <laughs> just because he's white. I can bet they get their wake up call when they visit the white family or non-black mixed and light skinned family. Blackistan also has a lot of issues in general. Most of the foolishness comes from the women thinking every white man or non-black man is secretly attracted to them. Like getting all giddy because one complimented their fake hair or trashy outfit in the grocery store or asked them a question they could have literally asked anyone else. And desperately trying to claim people of other races and cultures as black just because they have darker skin. And another thing I've noticed is the amount of black women who do not know the difference between a man sexualizing them and wanting them sexually and actually going to commit to them and love them. Hence, the low rates of marriage. Hence... Black marriage really doesn't exist. Continue onward. The term for what I was talking about is blackwashing, and other races are noticing this, like Cleopatra, which the woman Daisy, who I mentioned, also made a video about that, and it was really good. And I think that video had the highest number of views on her channel. Anyways, Cleopatra being played by a black actress. Cleopatra was not black, and a black guy playing the biracial composure which i did a video on back in the day it's like everyone and everything is black to these idiots and when you give them a reality check infused with historical accuracy you're racist anti-black and i guess when you have nothing you just covet everything from everyone else she writes on more on black women's obsession with proving that white men secretly want them. If they're so amazing and desirable to the white gaze, then why do they constantly keep getting rejected by white men on dating shows? Love Island's an example. I don't watch it, but I've heard the black women on these seasons, every season, keep getting rejected by white men in favor of the mixed chick or the white one. And bitter black women honestly think there's some secret agenda against them to make sure that this happens. Another thing is they'll worship shows like Scandal with Olivia Pope where it's a black woman. Obviously she doesn't look like your average black woman. I wouldn't go as far to say she's an exotical, but she looks better than 90% of black women. Let's be for real. And the fact that there's a white man, he just can't forget about her. He's so obsessed with her. And the ones who say, oh, in real life, he's probably cheating on the wife with her and he wants her in real life. Mm, no, he doesn't. And this girl goes on to write in her email, when white men do date interracially, they go for mixed Asian and Latino women. And you hear nonstop on TikTok and in real life about the white man and Asian women relationships and even the white man and mixed women relationships. Yes, this includes you too, dark skirt and brown skin exoticals. But the thing we have to remind ourselves is that we're talking about women who don't know what they're doing. So think of someone who's built like a linebacker, like some type of mannish being, and then everything they know about womanhood, they have to learn from a gay man or what they tried and horribly failed at copying from a mixed or a light-skinned woman in makeup, in weave, in nails, in hair. Their femininity is fake. Their success piggybacks off of our success. You, as an exotical, as a mixed race and light-skinned woman, are the blueprint, I keep telling you. They're jealous for a reason. They're envious for a reason. So just know they're coming for your life. And I know <laughs> I kind of casually slid that in there, but that's just the truth of the matter, babe. There's nothing I can really do about that other than give you tips and ideas but i'd like to know what you guys experiences are with jealous black women especially if you're an exotical with a foreign background